currently I coach power soccer. I coach the RHI Sudden Impact team here in Indianapolis, Indiana. A lot of people will ask us, you know, how do I get involved? They'll either see a, an article in the newspaper, they'll catch it on television, or they'll, they'll see us in the parking lot at Target and there'll be a bumper sticker on one of our cars and say, hey, how do I get involved in that? The best way for this sport to grow is going to be by word of mouth. And talk to people, talk to people in power chairs, because we'll see somebody in a power chair and we'll walk up to them and say, hey, do you know about the sport of power soccer? And, uh, and we do that even though, you know, some of us who are doing that aren't all that outgoing, but we know the power of the sport, so we want to really reach people out there. I'm a fan of power soccer, and I volunteer and I coach, and I spend lots of hours in power soccer for one reason. When disabled athletes roll onto the floor, their chairs disappear when you roll onto it as a power soccer player. It instantly gives you confidence. It lets you understand competition. It makes you deal with losses. I mean, they fight like crazy on the court, but they get off the court and they really create a strong network of people, which is just a ton of fun. That lesson that they learn from being able to compete independently transcends the court and really helps them just live much more enjoyable lives and be really productive in the community and lets the community see them as productive, competitive people. That's why I love power soccer.